give a quick introduction for our new member this morning. Uh, Bill Willis is a computer scientist and has worked in research and taught most of his life, most recently doing genetics research at MIT. Very cool. He started at Stanford and Tufts University and worked for Sun Microsystems. Bill is a past District 31 well, governor, an Eagle Scout, a returned Peace Corps volunteer, and since COVID, uh, this is actually a and today Bill wants to make you feel good. You got your stories might give you renewed hope and confidence in the younger generation. From the presentation mastery path project, connect with your audience, speaking for five to seven minutes, in a speech entitled, I Love Teaching, please help me welcome Bill Lewis. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests. <clears throat> I love teaching. For me, teaching is the most fulfilling, most important, most exciting profession I could possibly imagine. When I am in that classroom, I am shaping the lives of my students. It is an enormous honor and a great responsibility. And also a wonderful opportunity to use my Toastmasters skills. Now, I have taught everything from first grade through graduate school. They're all different. None of them have paid me very well in dollars, but all of them have paid me richly in life's satisfaction. It isn't easy. Kids today are harder to teach than they were 20 years ago. They see less that they admire in the adults around them and view all forms of authority with a certain amount of suspicion. And yet, they are dying for adults whom they can respect. You have to earn it, though. <clears throat> I was substitute teaching at Jordan Middle School near Stanford University, and I got the uh, <clears throat> rejects class. All of the seventh graders who were too difficult to be in a regular classroom. I had 15 students, I had a TA, and I needed him. The entire day was just one long battle. I would get uh, the kids in the front working on something and the fight would break out in the back. There was teething and hair pulling and pouting and complaining about everything. The entire day was one long battle for their attention. Boom, 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 all day long. That's what seventh grade is. <laughs> I had them up on the board working with improper fractions. How much is 17 over 7? This one little girl, a shy, almost reclusive child who barely spoke the entire day, she looked up at me and she said, I can't do that. Can I sit down? I had a moment to ascertain the rest of the class was busy and I had time to work with her. And I said, okay, 17 over 7, that is 7 over 7 plus 7 over 7 plus 3 over 7, right? And she thought about it for a moment and she said, oh, is that what it is? I can do that. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I get a call from the school the next week. Would I come and substitute for them? Again, they specifically requested me because the students liked me so much. I just spent an entire day torturing these kids and they liked me. Well, they didn't like me because I'm a nice guy or because I told them jokes or anything. They liked me because I made them work, but I didn't disrespect them. They liked me because they respected me. And we had a lot of fun. <laughs> it isn't easy. And yet teachers go into difficult classrooms all the time and turn around the lives of millions of students. And, and this is a wonderful and glorious thing. I was subbing for a class here in Cambridge, uh, Somerville High School, 
and I got the ESL class, English as a Second Language class, half Haitian, half Brazilian, no interest in being in school whatsoever. I walk in and this one kid comes up and says, hey, teach, teach, listen, listen, it's the end of the day, we're all tired, why don't you just sit up front, you can read a book, we'll talk quietly in the back, it will be okay. I told him, I'm sorry, but I really have to teach. Every sort of roll their eyes. I cajoled this one girl into coming up and reading the first paragraph of the assigned story. She did so in a lackluster fashion and said, can I sit down now? I asked her to pronounce the word the. 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 She repeated a few times and got it and smiled. We did a couple more words. I had the next student come up, we did the same thing and the same thing, and the class was awake and paying attention. They were enjoying it. And at the end of the class, the original student waved his hand and said, Teach, teach, I will do it. And he comes up, he does, he does a great job, the bell rings, the students exit, a little bit happier, a little bit more educated, and he stays back. And he says, hey teach, you can sub for us anytime. And he gives me what I'm sure is an illegal gang handshake, boom, boom, tung, 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 and he disappears. What happened? You tell me, all I did was help a few students with pronunciation, and they loved it. Since COVID has occurred, I have been teaching over Zoom. And I am part of the solution. It fills me with joy to be able to know that I am helping the next generation while we are in need like this. So this is a, this is a good thing for me. And then, and then there are those things that occur for reasons that you will never understand. That girl with the improper fractions. I was back at Jordan Middle School a few weeks later, and I walked past the library. She sees me. She dashes out and says, Mr. Lewis, Mr. Lewis, look, it's me. It's me, Sierra, just like the mountains. Remember me? And I assured her that I most certainly remembered her, that she was my favorite student ever, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I love teaching. presentation on teaching. As a fellow trainer, I also get a lot of joy out of education and, and training others, and I, I really enjoy your passion, first off. To get into the actual speech itself, one, a lot of the times when we're on Zoom, we do this, we present from a sitting position, and I appreciate the fact that you had your, your setup ready to go, you have your, your podium in the back, which is excellent, but you brought in a physical visu visual aid. And in our Zoom meetings, typically a visual aid becomes a PowerPoint, or we change our background, or something like that. But the fact that you actually grabbed the sign, it made us focus as the audience, or it made me focus, at least as a participant, and that immediately captured me. And just to bring that around full circle, you use that same visual end to, hit, to end your presentation, and I thought that was excellent. It really felt like it just tied your whole five-minute speech together. So, great job with that. The thing I think I was most impressed about your speech was your pace. 
And I feel like pace is something that we don't talk about a lot. A lot of times we focus a lot on the hand gestures or the, the volume of your voice, but pace was so well weaved in to how you were speaking because when you started talking about the seventh graders, your pace started going up and you started getting a little bit more, <laughs> I don't want to say jittery, I can't think of the right synonym for it, but it was stressing me out and that was the mood you were going for, at least I think you were, when you were trying to, to show how stressful teaching to seventh graders can be. And I thought how you leveraged the use of your, your vocal pace was really impressive. And I think the other best part of that was anytime that you had some sort of strong moment that you wanted the audience to focus on, you stopped. You let it sit. And you slowed down your pace. And that was just masterfully done. Really appreciate that. Everything else, as far as the vocal and the hand gestures, were all great. If I had to nitpick and find something to improve on, what I would think is you put a lot of emotion into your presentation. And one thing that I think is, is really hard is, is making it feel authentic emotion. And there were just a couple times when you had some pauses and you looked down where it didn't feel completely disingenuous, but it felt scripted almost, <laughs> which is a speech. I know you're trying to scripting out a speech, but I would work on that or, or somehow relaying the emotion so that it just feels a little bit more authentic. But other than that, I mean, Bill, thank you for, for changing our pace as a club and, and coming in here as a guest and presenting for us, and I really appreciated it. Mr. General Evaluator. Thank you, Sam.